Hello vlog. Guess what day it is? The 14th. That's right. It's vlogist. Day 14. 14 days. We've done 14 days in August. That makes today Wednesday. So we're going to start this vlog off. Miss Thing down here just brushed her hair. Do the outfit of the day. Cute, cute. Rocking a good will really outfit. It, but I am wearing shorts. You can't really see it. Though. I am having a tragically bad hair day. But we're just going to roll with it. So let's just roll with it. So we are currently at Subway and they're repaving like the parking lot and this is chaos. Like if there are so many people trying to park in such a tiny little area, it is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and of course Avery needed to have Subway because it was, you know, calling his name so... We brought Avery here for lunch, and it's taking forever, and we're almost getting hit by people! Oh. Okay, so... Jasmine and I were driving around, and we decided to come down by the water, because it is so filled with weeds and grossness right now. But... It's still pretty out here, so we always come for a walk, and we come down here and look at all the water and the sky. It's chilly, though. And today, again, you guys, we can feel fall in the air. Totally feel the fall weather. It's coming, but you know what? Next week, it's supposed to be super humid again, so... That's kind of a yay for me. Yeah, it's kind of a yay look, for you. Look, guys. Look, I'm driving fly right there. Where? Right there. See it? I don't see it. Right here. Come here. So, yeah. this is um, this is actually where the boys always come fishing, right and here. I always fish underneath the bridge over there and stuff, so. Right I don't see any dragonflies, dude. Look down right there. Oh, there's a bunch. And then right there, there's one. You see him? Oh, we scared him. Oh, it's so pretty. It's pretty blue. The blue's like my type of color. That's a pretty blue. So we're down here looking at dragonflies and gross water. And my gross hair. <laughs> Your hair is not gross. It's just fly away today. Okay, I have a question, you guys. Why do us girls, we have like the pockets, but you can never put anything in them? And when you have, if you're a boy and you have the pockets, they go this down. Well, because you don't have enough shorts there to even have decent sized pockets. Yeah, but. Get those are like hoochie booty shorts, girl. I'm surprised your dad even let you wear those. He's not home. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, so <clears throat> we left the water, and I thought, because it's kind of windy outside, that it would be a good idea to fly a kite. go fly a kite. So we came down behind the school where there's some open areas and some fields, and then we decided that we are going to try these kites out that we had from, I think, Easter, like, a year ago or something. So. Probably, yeah. I think we have a, what is this one? A Spongebob kite. And we have a Superman kite. So I think we're just going to try the Spongeman, a Spongeman, the Spongeman kite. And we'll, we'll see what we can accomplish he here. He uses a sponge to jump up his What? He's already doing it. All right, come on. We didn't hurt it. I'm going to put my um, keys on the fence up here, Jazz, so do not let me forget them. Okay. It's already doing its thing. 
Told you it would be a good day to fly kites. Okay, I'm going to put my keys right here, so don't let me forget them. Because we ain't going to get far without them anyway. All right, they're hooked on there. Now we're going to start, like, going up? No, not yet. You, here. <clears throat> Give me this end first. And I'm going to unravel some. Ah! Mine 
and Jasmine's flying a kite experience with SpongeBob and Patrick. Still going, still going, still and it's still trying to fly. So guess what? Dollar Tree kites work just fine. These Dollar Tree or Walmart, I think they came from. I don't remember. But it was windy and we were bored and we were just like, you know what? I had the brilliant idea to go fly a kite. So that's what we did. Did you have fun, Jazz? Uh, yeah. A lot. You had a lot of fun? Okay, so now I don't know really what we're going to go do, but we already flew a kite, so I don't know what much there is else to do with this day. Okay, so we are down at Gill's Landing, where we always come down by the water, and there is a hidden little trail over here, but I'm pretty sure we can't get through it because we had a huge storm. Oh man, Jazz! They didn't get the trees and we can't go crawl through them because they look like they're loose up in there so they could fall on us. But there's a little path, this little bridge that you follow all the way out to the middle and then there's water out there and it's really cute and they have a bench. I don't know if I ever took you there. Did we? I can't remember. I took you there when you were littler. But they have caution tape up because of the storms that we had so... This tree has fallen on, fallen on the little path all the way out there. So what a bummer, man. And I don't trust that tree because uh, if we try moving and pushing on it, I don't want nothing falling on us and hurting us, especially you. So I guess there goes that idea. We're not taking a walk. Let's go over there and meet a frog. Come on. Go over there and meet a frog? What, are you going to kiss it? You gonna look for your Prince Charming? Uh, I already have a Prince, Prince, a Prince Charming, it's me. You're your own Prince Charming? Well, there you go, girl. You ain't need no man. Fish alert! Oh, poor dead fish! Oh, 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 oh. Kick it, kick it! How did I kick him? So he can fly back free? He's already dead. But you gotta have a stick and poke a dead fish! <laughs> Just don't fall in the water, please. Up 
What are you doing? I'm going to put it in on this. Oh, you want to start the vehicle? So Jazz got to throw some rocks in the water. We found a really cool rock that had a fishing line tied to it. And I was hoping that there would be a treasure <laughs> at the end of it. But of course, I'm pretty sure someone just got a snag and they tied their rope to the rock to see if they could come back and maybe retrieve their lure later because sounds like something I would do. So we played by the water. We threw some rocks. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go over there. Oh, look at my foot. It's gross. We didn't get to go over there on the trail, but we've done a bunch of stuff today that was still fun. Flying kite was actually really fun, wasn't it? Yeah. We haven't flown a kite forever, dude. That was so cool. So now we're just driving through the parking lot looking at the yellow daisies. And all the people loading up their boats and stuff that were out fishing. And now we're probably going to head home. Yeah, yeah. So it just got real fun up in here. Yeah. So apparently my oldest son, Parker, is house setting and dog setting for a friend. And he just went there. And apparently the puppies or doggies, I should say, have made a mess inside the house and have explosive diarrhea butt everywhere and he has the worst most sensitive stomach i've ever seen he's such a little baby and he's freaking out because he cannot he cannot freaking clean this dog poop up by himself so yeah mom and jazz who needs a seatbelt on to the rescue I guess. Why do I do this? He's lucky I'd love him. Stop busting my nuts. Okay, so this person, we won't say their name. They live out in the middle of absolute nowhere, dude. So let's go see this atrocity of a poop mess. We're here to save the day. Oh my goodness, that was challenging. That was beyond challenging. Let me tell you, yeah, that I'm was not getting close to you. That was literally, that was literally shit. That was shit. So yeah, their puppy had. They have five huskies or five dogs, and the one in the kennel ended up getting sick, and it was up the wall. TMI, you guys, but Mama to the rescue and. Now I feel like I need to go home. I'm sweating. Can you see this? I'm sweating. That kid is so freaking lucky that I love him. And I drove all the way out here to clean up someone else's dog poop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I walk into the kitchen, you saw the look on my face. You saw the look on my heart to get out of this place. I seen something I've never seen before When you put on the pineapple We couldn't be friends anymore Pineapple pasta Put on pizza It's a fruit and you know that Pineapple pasta vlog so we just got back from operation rescue doggy your brother <laughs> yeah okay operation doggy duty and <laughs> rescue parker has officially taken place curl, guys. yes you are curly so um jasmine and i decided that we were probably gonna end the vlog here because you know we did stuff already today so instead of trying to prolong this vlog anymore i think we got enough footage for vlogus day 14 and what was your favorite part about the day mm, the kite flying a kite that was pretty fun that was a good idea i have some good ideas sometimes so jazz and i just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and 
Good bye, you randoms. And uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Yes, what she said. Please like this video, give us a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring the bell, and then you will be notified every time that we post one of our random videos. So, again, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Thanks for coming and flying a kite with me, Jazz, and for playing down by the water and occupying your mom. It's a full-time job, isn't it's it? It's a heart, look. It is a heart, and it's a full-time job. Taking care of your mom, full-time job? Yes. All right, you guys, so that's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow on day 15. That means, oh, that means we've almost made it halfway through August. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.